Hey, what's up guys? So since we've opened up the AK Thailand Instagram, we've had a lot of requests and uh, questions about what it's like kind of running the gym here in Thailand, uh, living in Thailand. Obviously, this is a very interesting project that we're on. Um, and we've always talked about, uh, you know, opening up and doing more videos and kind of showing what the behind the scenes is like being here and running the gym and day-to-day -day operations right. in life. So we're going to do that and uh, yeah, give you guys all access. So I'll start out by showing you my office here in Thailand. Usually Mark's sitting right there, not doing a whole lot. No, I'm just kidding. He does a lot. He's I try. Boy. We wouldn't be here without him. Oh, I appreciate that. It's the only compliment I have for you, but I know it's why. I would. So I have the fight posters from nine of my 15 UFC fights. Um, I don't know where the others are, and they're signed by all the fighters. So it's kind of cool looking back. It took a while to get them here to Thailand and get them framed. So it's kind of cool looking up there and kind of bringing back memories of all those fights. Another thing I like is the view here. There we go. Not bad, huh? I love the sound of training, especially after it took so long to build this gym and get it up and running. Tonight, to now hear the, the sounds of everybody training, having a good time, making ourselves better every day. When you first get here, I'll be the one that gives you a tour of the whole place. I'll just give you a quick uh, summary of one now, just so you get a feel for it. Well, start off with uh, some of the celebrities that have been here. We got Chuck Liddell, Johnny Walker, Cody Garbrandt, Jake Shields. Contra K, the rapper from uh, Germany, obviously Dana White, the karate hottie, Michelle Waterson, and one of Mike's favorite, David Hurst. Damien Hurst. Damien, sorry, Damien. Sorry. Damien. And one of, I don't know, I never met one him. One of the most famous artists, actually one of the most successful artists living today. And not only did he sign the wall, but he actually drew a couple sketches which are probably worth more than the wall itself. So, pretty cool. Then here is uh, the reception desk. We got June, May, and Songkran. Hardest working ladies at AK Thailand. We got obviously some of the guests. Here's the showroom. Um, some of uh, the AK fighters from uh, San Jose that have made the uh, magazine covers all around. Obviously some of the fights, as you can see. Still photos of them. The cool thing about these pictures on the wall is they're all AK fighters, be it at AK headquarters or AK Thailand. Um, all of these guys came to AK with no uh, MMA experience or very little MMA experience and then they became superstars and I think that's very important when people come into the gym to see these photos of these guys that they recognize they're on TV and living these huge lives um, and know that they were just regular guys like them that came into the gym at one point and wanted to better themselves and become a champion and, and train hard and through training and dedication and their mental fortitude they've progressed onto being on our walls and being some of the most successful fighters in the world and one of the most successful teams in the world. So I'm very proud to have these guys up here. Uh, it's, very, it's very cool and I think it sends a good message to our guests. This is where we have all of our gear. Back here is our uh, BJJ and MMA room. We'll come back to that in a second. This is our mascot. So we have just under 50 employees here at AK Thailand. So I'm gonna take you back to our administration. This is what holds the, uh, the place together. Sadaqab. Best administration in Thailand right here. Believe it or not, in Thailand, it is really hard to run a business, um, and that's why you see such a big administration back here. Uh, they, they help with all the details. Um, as you can see, the amount of paperwork, I mean, this is just like a daily, a daily run here. We have to sign a lot of documents and organize a lot of stuff, so yeah, they, uh, they keep this place together. And uh, we got Ann Chali here, gym manager, and uh, the glue that holds this place together, along with Mark Pogutsky over here. So like I said, I couldn't do it without you guys. So very, very important. This is such an important part of our, our gym because this is where, like I just said, um, this is where everyone can come if they have a problem or if they, they get into trouble outside the gym and they'll take care of everything. Be it visas, be it uh, you know, a flat tire, uh, you need a taxi, uh, you get pulled over by the police or something, you have a, a problem there, virtually everything. Yeah. And there's a lot of animals in here too. So if you look around, you'll see cats like everywhere. <laughs> look at this. That's the secret to having a good business. Cats and dogs everywhere. I'm grateful to all of you. Yes. Okay. So that was a little all access because we don't uh, usually give our guests uh, tours and administration, but I think it's important for you guys to see what it's like to uh, run a business here and how many people you actually need. This is where we move on to uh, the meat and potatoes, if you will. This is our uh, Muay Thai area. What we do is there's 26 bags, two rings, and 13 coaches. And we don't do like beginner, intermediate, pro, uh, different classes. We put them all together. We find our guests learn better that way. And at any given point, we could have six, eight pro fighters in here. We encourage them to help the beginners as well. So you almost have 20 coaches when you're here. A lot of these gyms in Thailand will put, um, you know, 
six coaches with 40 people. You don't get any kind of uh, any kind of direction. So we don't do that here. Plus, also we have five women. God bless them. That just clean nonstop. So they clean this three times a day. All the gear, the ropes, the bags, even the ceiling twice a month. So very very clean. We pride ourselves on the cleanliness. I, I don't know of any Muay Thai gym that has a view like this. So. This is one of the things I was the most happy about when we started building here. And it's absolutely amazing to be training so hard. And then in between the rounds, you get to look up at that. It's a beautiful mountain, beautiful jungle. Um, and then obviously pure oxygen coming right in your face between rounds. One of the favorite areas, everybody here. Uh, when they're not training, shoot little hoops, obviously. Just a good team building experience. Get a little sun without having to go all the way to the beach. It's actually NBA dimensions. All the hashtags. And here you go. That's what you shoot into. All right, so down the way here, this is our locker room. Um, we have uh, separate toilets, separate showers. The cleanliness extends in there too. They check them seven times a day. So uh, never gonna be an issue. So this is our uh, contender cafe. This is where everybody gets their meal plans and eats, hangs out, gets to know each other, fill the new students. These lovely ladies here. They work extremely hard and it is extremely hot back here, so they do a wonderful, wonderful job. We've got a menu with over 92 items on it, so it'll fit all your needs, whether it be healthy, Western, Thai food, and there's cheap food on there that I put on there. You're welcome. Coffee machine that makes every type of coffee, latte, espresso thing you can think of. You've got uh, protein shakes and smoothies, stuff like that. pretty much anything you need. Hot tea. Over here is just kind of the sports drink section. One of my favorite areas of the gym right here, since I'm almost 40 years old. I was really excited about getting this. Uh, I don't know why, but I think because I've been to Thailand so many times eating ice cream while I was coming up, to actually sell ice cream in the restaurant here, I don't know. I like it, but yeah, it's not healthy. We show uh, sports, UFC fights, obviously any AK Thailand fighters that'll be uh, you know, televised throughout Thailand. We all get together here, support the team. Um, yeah, this area, we got a pool table back here just for, uh, again, team building and recreation. All right, moving on over here, take you to the uh, fitness area. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Here it is, the weight room, downstairs. Every few hours or so, they come in here, clean them. Make sure everything's sanitized. Put up the weights. Guys, re-rack your weights. The ladies don't want to do it. And then uh, up here, uh, the Aerodyne class is going on right now. This is uh, what makes AKA so successful. Um, as a team, we win 86% of our fights. And that's, you know, first or second pro fights all the way up to UFC, uh, Ryzen, Bellator, 1FC. Also, yoga is done up here. You see we got the Airdyne bikes, basically it's a minute on, minute off, minute on, minute off. It's grueling, but it gets results. Right this way, guys. All right, guys, to head back this way, we're gonna go into the um, MMA BJJ area, as promised. Now, class doesn't start for another 45 minutes, but we can show you uh, what it looks like before. We got Wong Zai here. He was one of our first fighters. He actually came to the gym before we were fully built. Uh, we were in the Muay Thai area, no electricity, no running water. Um, we did this full fight camp for his very first UFC fight out in the Muay Thai area. It's crazy. And he stayed with us and he still comes back for some of those fights. And uh, yeah, so he's one of our original guys. First UFC win. And uh, they're, they're just winning in the UFC right here. And there's me going crazy behind him. And because of uh, Mark's tour skills and people skills, we are the highest rated international gym, I think, anywhere. Uh, we have, we're we're five-star rated on TripAdvisor. So check us out um, and read what our guests have to say. A lot of them write really long reviews and pictures and everything else. But a lot of that's because of Mark. He's a, absolutely, he's actually great with people. So. All right, guys, this is uh, BJJ MMA area. This is the largest indoor air-conditioned MMA room in Southeast Asia. Uh, if you look on the wall, we got some of our current sponsor fighters. We've got uh, Anastasia Cole over there, Miguel Akbari, some uh, champions that were at AKA San Jose. And scrolling around here, you'll see uh, some of the stars that have been here in the last, I'd say, 18 to 26 months. Dana White, Cody Garbrandt, Chuck Liddell, John Fitch, Noguera, Fajal, Mark Hunt, Bob the Beast Sap, Sol Kaleli, Oleg Tiktarov, Luke Rockhold, Marlon Sandro, Paul Daly, 
Leo Santos, Wong Zai, around here is Jake Shields. And uh, the karate hottie we haven't put up yet. Yeah. So she was here doing a seminar. It's really cool. There's a few we're missing, but... I don't mean to sound repetitive, guys, but uh, we clean this room three times a day as well as the others. Um, so uh, there's never any staph infections, bacterial infections, viral infections. They clean the, the gear, the dummies, the wall, and we've actually got air purifiers that are uh, NASA inspired and uh, good, good quality. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, this is our gym, this is our life, and we're opening it up now officially to give you guys all access to what it's like to be here in Thailand, to be running the gym, uh, to go into the fights, the excursions, the islands. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave a comment below any of the videos. Let us know what you think, what you'd like to see, and uh, stay tuned. One take snake. <laughs>